this is a 500,000 BTU torch. All right, so this is my favorite way to kill weeds that is non-chemical, unless you count the propane, though it is chemical, but this is my favorite non-chemical way of killing weeds. I've got, this is a 500,000 BTU torch, and that means that realistically you could get up to maybe 3,400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty damn hot. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to char the weeds. All you have to do is lightly go over it. So I've got this connected to a 20 pound propane tank. And all I'm gonna do is turn it just a teeny tiny bit. And then it's got this lever. So I can hear the propane coming out. And then I've got this. This is not very easy for me to do right now because I've got a rotator cuff tear and I don't wanna burn myself. Even a half a second on each plant is enough to kill it. I've seen some people just char the crap out of the vegetation, but it just, it's really high heat. I'm even using it right now in the chicken coop because we've had an occurrence of roundworm. And I know that the roundworms get into the soil and if I'm not digging, it's not gonna kill them if I heat them, but I'm just trying to kill as many eggs as I possibly can. The reason why I wanted to show you this is I'm actually going to be charring some wood, non-treated, non-pressure treated wood. We're going to make a salad bar for the chickens and I wanted to make the least toxic way to preserve and treat the wood without using chemicals, so we're going to burn it. And I'm going to get some video on that and I'll probably show that at a later time because I have no idea how it's going to go, but I'll keep you posted. All right, we're going to do along our fence line and then I'm going to show you, so this is the before and I'll show you the after. A couple things I forgot to mention earlier. Always make sure that your flame is nowhere near this hose because there's propane flowing through it. This is a striker. This makes a spark that catches down here when you get the propane flowing. And the last thing I wanted to mention is they do make a backpack where you can put your propane tank to carry it along with you. They also make dollies that you can wheel the propane tank around depending on how much you have to do. Uh, but really, like I said, this is my favorite chemical free way. It's really an herbicide free way of keeping the weeds down and it works really well. So I'm gonna get started on this and my husband is gonna act as the mover of the propane tank as we go. always remember when you got things that are you know don't damage it as you're going by like you know my ethernet cable that I almost torched also keep in mind you really don't want to burn any of the poisons so you don't want to burn poison ivy poison oak poison sumac really not good because once you burn it it can cause a lot of damage so just uh, be mindful of that
As you can see, pretty much took care of all the weeds along the fence line. And the thing is, you know, we don't keep up with it regularly. So if you have bigger plants, you know, like these that are a little bit higher growing, might have to come back and hit it twice. But it took me all of five minutes to run the torch over all of this. And that's all you gotta do. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos that will help you do those things you never thought you could.